Despite series of efforts and interventions to ensure the availability of the COVID-19 vaccines to the populace, a significant proportion of the populace are still unvaccinated. As of January 13, 18.2 million persons have been vaccinated, out of which 54% are fully vaccinated, with 3 million persons having received a booster jab. Coverage of vaccination, according to the Ghana Health Service, is high during the campaigns, hence the need to sustain the gains made. We repeated that in April. In June, we did twice. And each time we did that, you see some peaks. And then each time it is quiet, then it drops. So we've realized that this strategy works. And in the last campaign we did, we again saw that kind of rise. And so that is the motivation for us to continue to get a lot of people vaccinated within the shortest possible time. However, an assessment is being conducted to ascertain safer communities within the Boko region before healthcare workers will be deployed for the exercise. Several communities in the Boku West District are overwhelmed by the number of Bokinabes seeking asylum in the area after fleeing their country over alleged attacks. This is one of the um, challenges of when uh, these uh, conflicts disrupt health services. Obviously, the regions are going to take do an assessment to see how safe each community is, where they feel it is inappropriate to do vaccination, they will not go there. So that's what will be the regional's assessment and usually the district security uh, group will advise whether this is an area you can go and vaccinate. So these are some of the challenges when we have this disruption, it's affected everything. And so there are areas they may not be able to, to go. More than 6,000 vaccination teams have been deployed for the five-day exercise and expected to administer at least 1.4 million doses of vaccines. For months, some health facilities have run out of vaccines for routine immunizations like tetanus, pertussis, poliomyelitis, tuberculosis and measles. Responding to the issue at a media briefing here in Accra, Director General of the Ghana Health Service, again, Dr. Patrick Kumabwaje, said the service is working to ensure the delays are rectified. When we talk about essentials, we are talking about routine, uh, immunization, uh, maternal and child health services, among others. And you could see from the data that despite all that, we're able to keep things afloat. I think immunization dropped by just about 2%. We are experiencing some delay in acquiring some vaccines and we are working practically with the ministry to make sure that the needed vaccines are brought in so that we can continue vaccinating people. Thank you.